Hello everybody. Sorry we've had a few issues getting started here this evening. And Amanda, I turned my camera and let me know if you can still see me. It told me um, you can't turn your camera while live. So I'll look for a message from you if we've gone blank out there. Otherwise I'll assume it's still working. So, let's get started with Compline tonight. Um, welcome everybody who's here. Glad you're able to join us. We are Susan and John McCauley. If you have a prayer book, Compline starts on page 127. Yeah, no, you read those messages from Amanda. What's it say about sideways? It, she says the orientation is sideways. Okay, good. So it's okay. Um, we're trying to make sure with a couple mechanics here. Um, so I'd like to dedicate this service tonight to all our shared sacrifices during this time of separation for everyone's sake. So let us begin on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the, the maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father we, we have, have sinned against, against you through our own fault in thought and, and word and, and deed and, and what we have done and for the, for the sake, sake of your Son, our Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness for all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make, make haste, haste to, to help, help us. us. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I'm sorry. <laughs> For this evening, we're going to do Psalm 31. We're going to do it responsibly by whole verse. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. On page 131. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. May the God of peace, on page 132, may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead out of out no, our, our. our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good, that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glorified forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. The responses down in the middle of the page. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. 
Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord's Prayer, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine, thine is the kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On page 134, in the middle of the page, O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both day and night, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget our common life depends on each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We would welcome any intersections, um, but I will say at this point, um, there's a very extensive Epiphany prayer list, which Amanda has put together and is available, and we want to remember all those on that prayer list tonight to pray for them, and also all first responders, including all medical personnel and all who keep the economy functioning such as grocery workers and transportation workers. Also those that support us in a variety of ways to keep the economy functioning during this challenging time. Also families that are confined 24 seven in close quarters and all students and teachers that are homeschooling. We'd also like to remember all the graduates at this time of year who are unable to uh, celebrate in their typical ways. This week. To conclude I, uh, uh, these prayers, I would like to say a prayer that um, was furnished yesterday for the day of prayer. Let us pray. Jesus Christ, you traveled through towns and villages curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of this global spread of coronavirus that we may experience your healing love. Heal those that are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Heal us from our pride which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Jesus Christ, healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Be with those who have died from the virus. May they be at rest with you in eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or who have died. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all nations Give them foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. May they know your peace as they work together to achieve it on earth. 
Whether we are home or abroad, around many people suffering from this disease or only a few, Jesus Christ, stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace. Jesus Christ, heal us. Heal us. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Together, Lord, now you have set, set your, your servant, servant free. free. Go to in go peace, peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Together, guide God us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Well, sorry for the confusion getting started. Hopefully uh, next Sunday night we'll have it sorted out. We appreciate your attendance, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Take care. Bye. Have a good evening.